Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. Poor old Santa is in such a flurry, for right in the midst of the Christmas hurry, the bad squeeboblims, who hate Christmas joy, decided he couldn't distribute his toys. So they stole him away in a dark, stormy night. Oh, goodness knows he put up a good fight. And they took him away to Squeebobble Land, where they tied him so tight he can't move a hand. Now, what kind of a Christmas do you think there can be without any toys to hang on the tree? But in spite of the fact that we're feeling so sad, we're putting our faith in a wee little lad who, with the man in the moon and a talking horse named Gorgonzola, are now on their course to Squeebobble Land to find Santa Claus and punish those people for breaking the laws. But the way is dangerous and very long. They have to be careful so they don't go wrong. For the road leads through a forest so deep, they'll never wake up if they go to sleep. And through a country where giants and gnomes and brownies and goblins make their homes. Oh, it's lots of trouble. But Jonathan Thomas is not the boy who will break a promise. But the worst of it is, there's a wicked old witch who rules o'er a land called Rumpelstitch. She spends every day and most of the night thinking of things to fill them with fright. But I'm pretty sure they won't come to harm, for the good fairy queen gave them a charm. The little elf king, he gave them a key, which opened a door, and quick as could be, they found themselves standing in looking-glass land before Queen Alice and her courtiers grand. Queen Alice said, I know magic too. Here is a whistle, and I promise you, if you blow it once... You'll grow quite tall. If you blow it twice, you'll soon grow small. The old witch heard, and she laughed with glee. She said, I'll turn myself into a tree. I'll plant myself in the lonely glade. They'll have to pass right through my shade. But Kermit the hermit warned the three. He said, that's a witch. It's not a tree. So they went their way to the pea soup fog, and soon they were lost in the terrible bog. They couldn't go fast. They were slow as snails. Then they saw a dragon with 13 tails who chased them until they were out of breath. Even the dragon was tired to death. But Dinty the keeper, who heard the uproar, invited them in and shut the door. He said, I'll give you a piece of plum cake. Just feed the dragon and his stomach will ache. Now sit right still and have no fear. What happened next, we soon will hear. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. This is the court of King Evil of the land of Squeebubble and all of its people. Let there be quiet and no disorder, for the court of the king is now in order. Well, what is the business of the day? Is there anyone here with taxes to pay? There is one who has come, Your Majesty, who states she has great news. Well, do tell. Her Highness, the Duchess of Rumpelstitch, of magic, spells, and brews. Speak, O oh witch of Rumpelstitch. What word have you heard that you bring to me? If you listen, O oh king, you'll very soon see. Well, then, speak, and don't take a week. What is it you have to say? For I'm a very busy man, as busy as I can, and I haven't much time to play. On the road which leads to this very fair land... There are three travelers, and very close at hand. Well? Gorgonzola, the horse, and Jonathan Thomas, and Mr. Man in the Moon. And you'd best take care, lest you're caught unaware, for they'll be here very soon. Why should travelers ever come here? And if they did, what have I to fear? Uh -huh. You're not as wise as a king should be, and for this service... You should richly reward me. What is this talk of Travelers Three? It doesn't make sense at all to me. I'm telling you all this news because they're coming to rescue Santa Claus. Oh, ho! Is that so? Well, what do you know? They'd better have a care. I'll change their tune. I'll stop them soon. It's amazing to me that they dare... Sound the alarm. Call out the guard. Have soldiers surround the palace courtyard. Capture the fools as soon as they're near. 
For I say there shall be no Christmas this year. I'll post a reward of ten pounds by for whoever captures them dead or alive. <laughs> oh, mighty king. <laughs> You're wiser than most anything. <laughs> and though they've broken through my spell, eh, they'll now learn a lesson and learn it well. And now I trow I'll keep my promise. There'll be an end to Jonathan Thomas. Squim dum do, squim dum dee. How very much this pleases me. <laughs> How very much this pleases me. <laughs> Well, I must confess I'm very vexed, and I wonder what's going to happen next. For Jonathan Thomas and the Man in the Moon will arrive in Squeebobbleland, and I think very soon. And I'm as worried as worried as I can be. But maybe we better go look and see if there's anything wrong as they travel along. So in half a lamb shake, we'll quickly take a look at the Traveler's Three. Oh, this is the way we go, we go. This is the way we go. So the winds do blow, and oh, it may snow, this is the way we go. So crippity hop, we'll never stop, till we reach we bobble land. For we're brave as brave, and Santa will save from the terrible squee bobble land. My gracious to goodness, Jonathan Thomas, we are almost there. But we'll have to take a care, we don't get ourselves caught or by fiddlesticks. We'll be in a fix. Or the squee bubbles are a terrible lot. When we get to the land of squee bubble, Mr. Man in the Moon, how will we rescue Santa Claus, if you please? It's a very good question that you ask. I'll have to admit it'll be quite a task. But we'll have to plan as best we can. Do you expect they got Santa Claus in jail? Of course they have. I haven't a doubt. It's as hard to get in as it is to get out. Look, Jonathan Thomas, there are the walls of Squeebubble Land. The end of our journey is close at hand. Oh, they've got big walls around the city of Squeebubble. I wonder how we'll get through. Well, I've been wondering the same thing, too. Oh, what's that noise, Mr. Man in the Moon? For gracious sakes. Now, I don't know. They're drums. But why are they pounding so? Maybe it's a squee bubbles and they're out looking for us. Well, gracious sakes and heavenly day, what a very silly thing to say. You needn't worry or have any fear, for they don't know that we're even here. I hope they don't, because I don't want to get caught by the wicked squee bubbles. Of course you don't, and neither do I. Say, those drums are getting louder. Oh, me, oh, my! Oh, they're getting louder than two times two. Maybe we better hide someplace till we find out what they are. That's a very good thought, and I think we ought. We'd better go this way, and... Gracious to goodness, and Jiminy Cricket! Run for your life, Jonathan Thomas! The squee bubbles are coming! <laughs> And this is the truth. 
And I haven't lied. And I hope and trust you're satisfied. Scoom dum dee, scoom dum do. That's something I'm most glad to know. For now I can say I've kept my promise and put a stop to Jonathan Thomas. <laughs> I've put a stop to Jonathan Thomas. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, I was afraid of that. For that wicked old witch usually gets her way. But now, what'll we do for Christmas Day? It makes me so mad I could almost shout. For how in the world will old Santa get out? And poor Jonathan Thomas and the man in the moon, they'd better escape and very soon. But when they're put in jail and locked up so, how can they do it, I'd like to know. Oh, my goodness, it's such a worry. I, I wish I knew the rest of the story, don't you? Well... We'll find out what's going to happen in the next story of Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. So don't forget to listen, will you? I won't. 